All right, Capricorn, this is Felicia from Jesus Take the Wheel, Tarot 11. 11, Capricorn, I have done your reading multiple times. And for some reason, only part one uploaded, so I am redoing your whole reading. All right, so Capricorn, what does Spirit want you guys to know? What does Spirit want you guys to know, Capricorn? Let me turn this light up more. Okay. So we have criminal mastermind. Capricorn, you could be a criminal mastermind or you're dealing with someone who is. We have love affair, secrecy, third party, hooking up, STD, hopeless. It could be a hopeless situation. This person could be a criminal mastermind. They could say, do all the right things, but they are really good at deceiving and lying. Your hobby will make you happy and money will come from it, Capricorn. So Capricorn, if that's your confirmation right there, if you have a hobby that you like to do, go put it on an Etsy sh shop and go make some money or put it, post it somehow so you can make, start making money off it, okay? You need to be alone. Take a walk, go shopping, go on a date, drive, go drive and watch the sunset. So being alone will be good for you at this time. Hurt people hurt people. Don't let that be you. Let go and go find new Capricorns. So with that, rejection is God's protection and it's okay to be alone. If you continue to be with this person, then this person will continue to hurt you over and over. And that's why God wants you to go be alone and take a walk and go do the things that make you happy. Always talking about the bad you did in the past and they want you to be stuck in the same cycle. So this could be a friend, ex-lover, family member, even your spouse. They're always talking about the bad you did. You could be changing your habits and people are not focused on the new you. They're more talking about the old you. Yes, that person is trying to set, set you up somehow. Give them false information. So Capricorn, you have a person that is trying to set you up somehow. You're going to need to give them false information. So when they go back and set you up, it makes them look stupid. Okay, definitely do that. Sometimes it's good to do that. Your kids want your time. You, either your kids or your children want your time. So... If you have a child or children that keep pushing you to hang out with them or do something with them, Spirit wants you to do something with your child because uh, they're going to teach you something. Keep your faith. It's coming. A lot of bad before the good. So sometimes we have to go through a lot of bad to get to the good. So if you're going through a hard time in life right now, Capricorn, it's okay because Spirit's saying just keep your faith. I'm sorry, you have to go through a lot of bad so I can teach you these lessons so you can get to your good and then you'll you'll be more grateful and thankful that you went for you were taught these lessons and you know, these lessons could be, you know, horrible relationships and you know, it teaches you to set boundaries. And so when you move into your next uh, relationship, you have healthy boundaries coming into the new one, okay? If you're wondering if someone is still on dating sites, yes, Capricorn, they still are on dating sites, okay? Now, let me remind you guys that what I pull with these, or I never pull, I shuffle, whatever flips out is meant for you to hear, okay? Whatever... You could resonate with one of these situations or you can resonate with all. If you resonate with anything, let me know in the comment section, section down below. If you do not resonate with this, I offer personal readings under $10 on my Etsy shop. Uh, buy any two reading, get one free. All right, so let's get into these messages. We have criminal mastermind, work achievement and success. So a person in your life, Capricorn, could be working hard either to cause you some type of harm or this is you but just remember karma uh so be on the good side of karma capricorn but it looks like someone is working hard to to ruin something so this could be in work we have work achievement and success so if you're working when you're working hard, someone could be trying to sabotage your work. Love affair, secrecy. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. 
So if you are, if you know that you could be in some third party situation, uh, don't, don't fall for it. Don't, if you're lonely and someone comes in and they want to put you in a third party situation and you know that, you know, it's not good for you, the spirit saying you're on the right path already. Stay, stay away from that situation. Okay. What do we have is hopeless. Why is hopeless out here? Hopeless. A goal oriented person. So Capricorn, if you're feeling hopeless at this time, you need to do things that you used to do and remember the goal, your long-term goal. So there used to be something that you did back in the day. You may have been a person that was always focused on, you know, moving forward in life and giving it your all. And you had A, B, C, D plan, the alphabet plan. And then some situation came in your life and it made you feel hopeless. And or this could have been a relationship and it just drug you down in the dirt so much that you feel hopeless now. Spirit wants you to remember you need to be this person again, okay? Get get back out there and start doing the things that you used to love. Take walks, st spend time alone, stay away from negative people. Because once you cut all these people off, you're going to be focused on the target and you're going to be this person again. So we have hobbies will make you happy and money will come from it. A change for the better, yes. So if you have a hobby and you know that you're really good at it and spirit saying go ahead and put it out there because it's going to make you money it's going to be a change in your life for the better a meeting with a stranger could be important so because of your hobby and you end up making money off this hobby you're going to meet meet some type of stranger so they could offer you a job through your hobby and you could be making money so and then yes this is going to make you very very happy happiness. This could be around March or it starts blooming in March. Whatever takes place is going to kick off in March and it's going to be make you really, really happy. Because if you are focused on disappointment in a friend or a lover, so if you're focused on, this could go two ways. So if you're focused on the bad stuff right now, do this hobby because it's going to make you a lot of money and you'll be happy. And spirit saying, because we put this person that puts you through hell in your life, we gave you this opportunity to get out there and do something with yourself that makes you really, really happy. Your hobby. So, and this is also saying now on the other side of things, it's disappointment in a friend or a lover. Do not go into any type of business so with your hobby capricorn do not let uh, a friend in on this or a lover because if you do there's going to be some type of disappointment you need a walk you need to be alone so dealing with a relationship or woman so you could be a woman yeah needing to take a short journey maybe a walk or a drive and maybe focus on your wealth. So Capricorn women, if Cap Capricorns, they're all about their money and stability and, you know, making sure they have life the way they want, stable, a stable life. That's what Capricorns do. You may be the a Capricorn, male or female, take it how it resonates, doesn't matter, uh, who has been in some type of toxic connection or maybe you're single and the only people that seem to want you right now are karmic people who put you in third party situations and you can be you take the bait and you fall for it because you're lonely so spirit is saying that you need to take a walk be alone you could be up in your head capricorn males about a woman or you could be a female stuck in your head uh, about your situation, male, female, 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 whatever, doesn't matter. Um, we all have feminine energy, even masculine. You guys carry feminine energy, so just take that how it resonates. But spirit wants you to just stay alone and focus on your health at this time and your wealth. 
Okay, health and wealth, that's very important for you. It doesn't say health out here, but I said health, so definitely focus on your health. Hurt people hurt people. Don't let that be you. Let go and go find new, okay? So, yeah, sorrow over a loss. So, just, it's okay to let this person go. Cut them off. <clears throat> you don't want to be, it was a te temporary situation. You don't want to be that person. If they continue to hurt you over and over and over, you may be that type of person. Sometimes hurt people hurt people. And you're letting a person hurt you over and over and over. I mean, you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. But one thing I've learned on my journey is a message from Spirit I got. Not everyone has the same heart as you. And you may keep giving them the benefit of the doubt. But just remember that simple fact. Not everyone has the same heart as you. So walk away from this toxic person or people because it's not going to bring you anything but hurt. And then you might start that cycle with that person, the next person, and you might be so guarded so that you step back and you start hurting that person. Or you do shady little things that, you know, could affect the next person and they're wondering why you're doing that, but you're scared because you think that that person's going to hurt you. Well, there's no need for all of that. So just step away from this person that's hurting you and go find someone new. Okay? Always talking about the bad that you've done in the past and they want you to stay stuck in the same cycle. What's this about? Opportunity or windfall. So you triumph over troubles and getting together with friends. So you could have new opportunities in your life, Capricorn, and you could be uh, having troubled times and you're taking control of your life and you're getting together with your friends and this person, these people or these co-workers or whatever, neighbors, friends, family members, take it how it resonates. They just keep talking about the bad that you used to do in the past. They don't want you to move on. So they just keep talking about the past. Okay, so the next we have, yes, that person is trying to set you up somehow. Give them false information. Don't worry about it. Spirit saying, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So somebody is protecting you from harm. Your spirit team is on your team, and they will make sure that no one is messing with you. Your kids want your, kids want your time and attention. So if they may want your time and attention right now. And... You know, this will be a learning experience for you. And sometimes, I mean, I have teenagers and I have one going off to college soon. And my teenager, she teaches me things, you know, where I'm, I'm mom. So I think I know everything that she's already went through. But no, I don't because I have, you know, this is a different generation and they teach you different things. And, you know, there's things that my kids have taught me that, you know, with devices and electronics that I didn't really care about. But now that they taught me, I can't stop doing it. Like, you know, the how to do everything on a phone and just everything. I was never that person. I really didn't care about materialistic things. But, you know, sometimes you do. And my kid brought it to my attention that, hey, this is how you do this, mom, and this will work better for you. So yeah, your kid wants to teach you something or your kid is going to teach you something. A period of ill health or depression. So with this, you could be depressed. You could be a Capricorn parent that is depressed and you know, your kid is wanting your time and attention. So you go out and hang out, spend time, take your kid out to lunch or take him to a park or take him on a walk, take him on a hike, take him, you know, I don't know where you guys live, but the weather we're getting into fall here, so it's like we have bipolar weather. One minute it's sunny, 20 minutes later it's raining. So it's cloudy, then it's back to sunny, 80 degrees. Like, I don't know how you guys, but you take your kid outside. Go do something with your child because it's going to make you and your child happy together to reconnect. Even teenagers, Ooh. even teenagers. I took my girls shopping at the mall yesterday and we reconnected and it was pretty, it was nice to get to know, you know, how they feel about certain issues coming up in their life. And 
yeah, that was nice to reconnect with my kids. And one minute they love me, the next minute they hate me. But I'm mom. I'm mom first and your friend second. So that's where that love-hate relationship comes in. But anyway, so we have keep your faith. A lot of bad before the good. Do not give up. Okay, so waiting for news, package, or a letter. So you could be waiting for something at this time, Capricorn, some type of news to come in. Just keep your faith because you feel like the situation might not go in your favor. Uh, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So yeah, so you are protected. Keep your faith. Just know that whatever bad has happened to you, just know that... Uh, you know, spirit has your back. Your spirit team has your back. They're not going to let anything happen to you. So keep your faith. There are spiritual attacks, a lot of them going on at this time. And people, you know, you have over here that they're always talking about the bad that you've done. And you can't seem to move forward because the second they put that in your mind, you know, you, they doubt you. So then you start, you have a little doubt in yourself. So don't do that. Just keep your faith protection from a powerful friend. So yeah, you have a powerful friend that will be protecting you. This could either be a spirit guide of yours, or this can be a physical friend. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So there's going to be that you, you could be taking a some type of journey and you're stressed out about that at this time. It's going to leave you, leave you wiser at the front or at the end. So not friend end. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, you'll you'll be protected in this situation. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So you could be waiting on either a birth or someone's birth, or you're going to hear about someone's birth. Uh, and this could cause them or you in some type of financial pinch unsettled times need to plan ahead so yeah so with that just plan ahead so an unsuccessful plan so you could have person you could have a person you could want a baby at this time but now is not the right time or you're looking for a job right now and waiting on news from a job to reach out to you uh you're you may be stuck in some type of financial pinch right now so you need to plan ahead so if you're looking for a job just don't go out and look over and over in different jobs put in multiple applications so that you have a backup plan just in case one fails with the baby situation you may be trying to get pregnant and spirit is saying that it is not the right time to do that right now because you don't have your finances in order and if you were to be you know mom or dad right now kangaroo baby in the pouch uh, it's, it's not right for you at this time. Okay. Ops, you'll have obstacles to overcome if that happens. So you'll, the spirit's not going to give you a child right now because this, like I said, this isn't going to resonate for everyone, but if for those Capricorns that are looking to get pregnant and you try and try and try it all happens in divine timing. Everything will line up perfectly. Just stop worrying about it. Stop trying. Everything will work out for you. And right now you need to focus on other things. Let's say you're a Capricorn that has their money. You can have a million dollars in the bank and go, I want a baby. I'm going to try for a baby. Spirit, why aren't you giving me a baby? Universe, God, whatever you believe in, why aren't you giving me, me this baby? And they're saying no, because you may have all the finances, but you're lacking something in your life that you need to fully become a parent for this child that will bring you in. Okay, what is still on dating sites? August. So you may have caught someone on a dating site in the month of August, which we just got out of. Uh... Yeah, so that's confirmation for someone. Broken bridge, unsu unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So you could have caught someone, Capricorn, on a dating site. And you thought that, you know, this person wasn't going to be doing that anymore. But maybe you met them on a dating site. And you thought, because now you two got together, that 
you know, you would be together and they don't need that dating site anymore, but yet here they are. You caught them in August. All right. So spirit, what do you want the Capricorns to be focused on at this time? What do you want the Capricorns to be focused on at this time? Shuffling one more time. What would you like them to be focused on at this time? We have guarded and <clears throat> guarded and vulnerability. Sorry, my voice is a little. Let me take a sip of coffee real quick. <clears throat> so, yeah, so with this. I haven't been making videos lately because my voice, uh, I lost my voice and I don't know, maybe there's somebody trying to block my throat chakra from getting these messages out here. I don't know. But for you guys, this spirit did not, or somebody, someone going against you did not want me to get these messages out for you. Okay. So anyway, guarded. You may be guarded at this time, Capricorn. And for those of you that are guarded and you're in a relationship, you need to be vulnerable. You need to open yourself up, okay? You need to ask for your ancestors' guidance because they're waiting in the background to help you. Now, we have control tactics, okay? Control tactics. So someone in your life could be hurting you, which we do have over here. Hurt people, hurt people. Don't let that be you, okay? So Capricorn, if you know that you are in some type of controlling toxic relationship, you need to ask your ancestors for guidance at this time to help you get out of that, okay? And because it is, yeah, we have stability, harmony, flow. So you need stability and harmony back in your life. So that's what you're supposed to focus on. If you're a guarded toxic person and you like to have all the control you need to balance that out you need to learn how to do that so that you can be more vulnerable and open you need to let things yeah you need to complete the cycle or you need to complete a cycle with someone else and change we have cycles change and completion here all right so who I'm going to do singles first, and then I'm going to do couples, okay? So, couple Capricorns. Who is coming in for you? Or not couple Cap, Not couple Capricorns. Singles. Single Capricorns. Couple, who is coming in for you? Yeah, see, I can't even talk through this reading. But sometimes I'd end up like that because I do have mixed accents, and sometimes... Uh, I try to hold back one of the accents and they just come out. So you might hear it in some of my videos, but I try to hold it back. Uh, I used to live on the East Coast. I had that East Coast accent. Now I'm on the West Coast. So yeah, East and West, they're just, I have it both in me. They want to mix. Okay, so Capricorn, new love, singles. You have new love coming. We have new person and unknown person here. So yeah, you don't know this person coming in singles single capricorns you do have new love coming so that's good so those of you that have been looking or those of you that uh are in some toxic type of connection here and once you let this person go you have someone new coming in so yeah definitely let a toxic connection go because you do have new coming in control Release, taking back power, kinky in the bedroom, and third-party situation. Okay, so with that, crowded relationship and choices. So, you singles have new love coming. This person, if this isn't you, if you know Capricorn, you're not putting someone else in a third-party situation, then this person likes to have control and they like to put people in third-party situations because they're selfish. They want two people, not just one. And so be mindful of that. Make sure that you ask all the right questions. Are you seeing someone else? Are you dating anyone else? 
Okay, if you're dating someone else, how serious how serious is it with that person? You know, I like to date one person, but I was never that person that can date multiple people and then pick and choose who I wanted to be with. I just, that's, I can never do that. But a lot of people do do that. And this looks like some type of situation here. Or you have some type of new love coming in, Capricorn, and you they are going to put you in a third party situation and you're going to need to make that choice once you figure it out or capricorn you are a taking back your power because you have new love and you're getting rid of this person over here and you're making a choice here because we have crowded relationship and choices so if you know you're in a toxic relationship and you're ready to cut that relationship off and be single again, you will have new love. You're going to take back control of your life. And from being the puppet on the string here, taking back power, you'll be taking back your power and you're going to make a choice and cut that other person off so you can have this new love. All right, singles, that was for you and Capricorns that are in a toxic relationship and you're ready to be single, that was for you. So just know you do have new coming. If you are in some type of toxic connection, don't worry. You are having something new return to your life. All right, coupled. Coupled, coupled. Oh, that wanted to flip out. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect make you, makes you more roman romantically attractive. Okay, and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your spouse. Honestly, discuss your, discuss your feelings with each other. So Capricorns, you could be in a connection and you could uh, want to do some things by yourself. And maybe you or your spouse is pushing you into doing something you don't want to do. And you need to end up having a conversation about that. You need to honestly discuss how you're feeling, how that makes you feel. You know, because sometimes spouses do. They push you into things you don't want to do, but you do it because you love them. Now we have, <clears throat> if, if you love yourself, for those Capricorns that are, uh, you know, they kind of let themselves go. Sometimes it happens. I've been in the same situation where I let myself go in a relationship. And I've, you know, I did every little thing to please my spouse. And, you know, it kind of backfired on me because now I look in the mirror, you know, later on and I go, wow, what have I become? You know, if you're that Capricorn who, you know, what happened to your, your appearance, you know, maybe start loving on yourself a little more, take care of yourself. I did say healthier, so maybe you need to start eating healthier, exercising. And once you start loving on yourself more, you know, then you're, you and your spouse can reconnect. But that doesn't necessarily mean that either. Uh, love yourself first. So if you know that you want to do healthy things and your spouse isn't, you know, Sometimes your spouse is like, no, you can't do that or whatever. We all have, have spouses that do that sometimes. But you need to love yourself first and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your spouse about uh, loving yourself first. That's what you're going to need to do because it's affecting your relationship. So let's see. What else for the Capricorn couples? We have... Yeah, you're going to need to, you know, protect yourself. And there could be, you know, there could be...